Study the information given below and answer the questions based on it. See what it says. Seven players A, B, C, D, E, F, and G are have scored different runs in a match. Right? So there are seven persons A, B, C, D, E, F, and G who have scored different runs in a match. D scored more than at least one person, but not more than two persons. D scored more than at least one person, but not more than two persons. Now this is an important point to be understood, right? See, uh, you you have understood that we have to arrange these seven persons based on their scores. They have scored different runs in a match. We have to arrange them based on their scores. So let's let's try and arrange them uh, in in an in an order, right? Ascending or descending order. So what are the seven positions? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Let's let's assume we are arranging them in descending order, right? Let, I mean, let's let's take the descending order. You understand descending order, right? Highest first and lowest at the end. So we'll start from the highest and go to the lowest. So this end will be highest. And this end is going to be the lowest, right? This end is going to be the lowest. Now, if you read the first point, it says D scored more than at least one person, that, but not more than two persons. What does it mean? See, D has scored more than at least one person, but not more than two persons. This tells us that there are only two possible positions for D. D can either come here or it can come here. You understand? These are the seven positions. This is the lowest guy. D score more than at least one person. So, you know, D should be scoring more than at least one person, right? So, D cannot come in the last position. Because if D comes in the last position, he will be scoring the least. He will not be scoring more than anyone. But for D to score more than at least one person, D should take second position. So, when, he, when D takes the second position, I mean, see, from the lowest end, if D takes the second position, he has scored more than one person. And, but not more than two persons. So, at least one, it can be two also. Suppose D comes in this position. D comes in this position, then D has scored more than these two persons. But can D take any other position there? No, not possible. Because the moment you take D elsewhere, like if you take D in this position, D was, has scored more than three persons, which is not allowed, right? Not more than two persons. So maximum D can score more than two persons. So I think we get two possible cases immediately, right? We can we can take up both of them. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll mark them differently, right? D can either come in the second position from the lowest end or third position from the lowest end. Right, so D scored more than one person, D scored more than two persons. D cannot take any other position. Now A scored more than G, but less than C and B. A scored more than G, but less than C and B. So what does that mean? A has scored, A has scored more than G. A has scored more than G, but less than C and B. A has scored less than C and B. Now between C and B, what is the order? We don't know. But definitely A has scored more than G and A is lesser than C and B. So this is like a, a four persons set. C, B, A, and G, where C and B will be greater than A, and A would be greater than G. Right? Now, you have understood that we have got two cases. This is case 1 and case 2. If I look at case 2, or, or let's let's proceed first. Let's see what, what else is given. He says E scored the least runs. E scored the least runs. So, E comes in the last position, clearly. Right? G scores more than F. G scores more than F. G has scored more than F. So, G has scored more than F. You see? I can connect to the previous statement. G has scored more than F. G has scored more than F and F scored 42 runs. Who scores 42? Who is who here? F. We have discussed in the yesterday session also, right? When you have the word who, we refer to the preceding person, right? We always refer to the preceding person. So G scored more than F. Who scored 42? Which means F scored 42. F has scored 42 and G has scored more than F. So now we have got a group of five persons. C, B, A, G, F, where the order should be this, right? The one who scores highest has scored 100 runs. The one who scores highest has scored 100 runs. And the one who scored the third lowest has scored 52 runs. Now, who is the highest scorer here? This person. I mean, whoever comes in this position. So, this guy scored highest, 100. And the one who scored third lowest has got 52. Third lowest is 52. What do you mean by third lowest? See, this is lowest, second lowest, and third lowest. Third lowest is 52. So we know the highest value, we know the third lowest value, right? Lowest, second lowest, third lowest. Lowest, second lowest, and third lowest. That's it. This is the data we have, right? Now, if you observe from seven persons, D and E have already been marked. Remaining are A, B, C, F, G. A, B, C, F, G. And A, B, C, F, G, the order, the tentative order of their scores is as we see here. C, B, A, G, F. C, B, A, G, F. Now, if I look at the first case, the only way possible is C or B. See, between C and B, who comes first, who comes second, we don't know. Both of them are greater than A. A is greater than G and G is greater than F. Right? But we know that F has scored 42. Here, F is getting 52. Right? This position is blocked for the one who has scored 52. The data says F has scored 42. So, clearly this violates. 
So this is wrong. Case 1 is wrong. Try to do it in case 2. Again, the same point. We have got 5 positions left and we know the order of these 5 persons except for C and B. So C or B can come in the first place and second place. I mean, you know, it will be C, B or B, C depending on who has scored the highest. Then A, G, F. A, G and F. And we are done. F has scored 42. It satisfies, right? 42 is lesser than 52. So this is the final arrangement. This is the final arrangement that we have got. The first two positions are occupied by C and B in some order. The highest scorer has got 100. Then A, G, D, F, E. D has scored 52. F has scored 42. That's it. Once you have done this, you can answer the questions very easily. Right? So B or C, followed by A, followed by G, followed by D, followed by F, followed by E. All this would not take more than one minute in my view. Right? Because I was explaining this to you, it has taken so much of time. When you do it yourself, you will not write all this stuff on paper. Right? You will cut down the number of steps. You don't talk. And hence you get the answers really quick. Now let's look at the questions, right? The first one, if C scored 92 runs, then what is the total score of D and B? If C, that's that's what I've told you, right? Some part of data is given in the question itself. If C has scored 92, then what is the total of D and B? Now go back. C has scored 92, he says. We, he's asking us to find the total of D and B. D plus B is equal to what? See, clearly if C has scored 92, C will not come in the first position. C has to come in this position there, right? If C does not come here, B would be coming in the first position, which means B has scored 100. And what is D score? D score is 52. So what should be the total? 152. If C has scored 92, B has scored 100. B is the highest scorer. B has scored 100, D has scored 52. C, uh, D and B total should be 152. So 152, option 2 is the answer. Yeah? I am sure this is a sitter, right? Answering the question is very easy. Next one. If A scored 65 runs, then what may be the score of G? If A scores 65, then what may be the score of G? Go back. A scored 65. A has scored 65. What could be the score of G? Now, the only thing that we can say here is G should be between 52 and 65. G will be between 52 and 65. G will be greater than 50, uh, less than 65 and greater than 52. Right? G will be more than 52 but less than 65 and it, it cannot be equal to 65 or equal to 52 because see he says all of them have scored different runs. No two persons have got the same score. Seven players have scored different runs in a match. So the range of G is between 52 and 65. Between 52 and 65 excluding 52 and 65. So between 52 and 65. It should be between 52 and 65. Right? Now eliminate the options. Can it be 66? No. Can it be 52? No. Can it be 48? No. Can it be 70? No. The only possible answer is 62. Right? 62 comes between 52 and 65. All the other options are out of the range. So your answer here is option 4. 